Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Star Flames. In this video, we're gonna talk about Tashi K and Cardi B because Tashi K had initially offered a payment arrangement to Cardi B wherein Tashi K would pay $222,000 to Cardi B monthly sorry quarterly quarterly for the next five years right practically five years and now it's been reported that cardi b fires off subpoena to blogger tasha k's bank demanding answers on wire transfers in the fight over the four million dollars so what cardi b is basically saying listen we need some financial reports and we need that from you know the tax department we need that from the bank such as um bank of america jp morgan chase <laughs> discover financial um american express she's reaching out to the tax department for all tax records from 2019 to 2022 let me tell you Cardi B's lawyer, they're sitting good, they're eating good, they're <laughs> dressing good, <laughs> they're living good, okay? Because Cardi has been keeping those people employed, honey. She has been ensuring that that legal team has been getting their checks back to back. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that it's not a good legal team. Because we've been seeing them, you know, getting results for Cardi. But at the same time, I have to say that, um, you know, I believe that Cardi B is too hell-bent on de demonstrating the power that she has. Because, let's keep it real, Tasha K is wrong. Ain't no going around that, what she did was hella wrong but i also see cardi b as someone do you know how you dream to become a star and finally you're a star but you're actually shocked that you're a star and there are some people who never thought that you would be where you are today and you're so hell-bent on displaying that power for the world to see that when tasha k said what she said cardi b going after tasha k wasn't just for cardi b um getting justice getting that um you know i would say you know right as a citizen in order for her her name and her reputation not to be tarnished i believe that she went after tasha k because now that i'm seeing all of this i have to say that i believe that she went after tasha k to demonstrate how powerful she is and she doesn't care how much money it's going to cost her now in my last video someone said oh when cardi gets the money from tasha k she's gonna donate the money to charity she doesn't need to donate to charity at this point because she's keeping her legal team employed so she's already stimulating the economy and i'm not even being disrespectful do you guys have any idea how much it is to keep a legal team working like this yeah she has the money yes she's always working yes she has offset but have you ever seen people in the industry that had a lot of money 10 years ago, but today they don't have that money that they had 10 years ago or power? Cardi might be looking at quite a few million dollars and say we're set, but life is fickle, life is unpredictable, and anything can happen at any given moment, God forbid, right? So... I believe that it is time for Cardi to pause for a bit and to start inserting wisdom over the need to feed, feed that ego of revenge. No, I don't believe that Cardi B is a person who believes in justice. And I'm going to tell you why. 
I say, I don't believe that she's a woman of justice and discipline. Remember, this is the same Cardi B that told us that she drugged and robbed men. If she believed in justice and discipline, I know that she has to remember at least one of those guys. Or she will turn herself into the police, give a confession. But based on her past and how she talks about what she did in her past to, you know, fuel her career, I don't believe that she believes in justice, right? Because you cannot do people injustice, but then fighting for your justice. It doesn't make you a just individual. If anything, it makes you a narcissist and you're proving to be truly egotistic. Now, I must also say that Tasha K offering to pay $222,000 quarterly is like an insult, right? Someone owes you $4 million, you're going to tell them, look, I'm going to pay you, right? But I'm, I'm going to have to pay you in five years. But at the same time, if Cardi paused for a bit, you know, and try to insert some wisdom and say, tell you what, you're trying to insult me, but I'm going to turn around and insult you. I'm going to settle for this offer and I'm going to invest this money, right? Because she could actually do that. But Cardi B's aim here is not for Tasha K to pay her. Cardi B's aim is for Tasha K to be in pain and to do what you call a um, crucifixion. That is what... Cardi B wants. Cardi B wants a digital crucifixion of Tash K so that people walk on chalk line. Bloggers do not talk about her. And if they do talk about her, they praise her. She's not going to get that out of people. The court of public opinion will always be in session. And she needs to understand that sometimes you cannot even control your household because something is about to be on fire unexpectedly the only thing is that when it gets on fire you have to remain calm and you have to insert wisdom to know how to control that fire so that your entire home is not set ablaze and when i talk about fire i'm not talking about a literal fire in the sense I'm talking about navigating through life in general. Because when she's saying that to the banks, I'm requesting all of this information to the tax department after Tash K has filed for a Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Do you know what she's saying to all of these people and the court? I don't trust you. I need you to give me justice and I'm trusting for you to give me justice, which you have granted me before as a citizen, but I'm not trusting you when it comes to this woman's financial records, even though Tasha K had to provide documents as proof that she's um, unable to pay everything that is in a poor financial state for her to be granted chapter 11 bankruptcy because filing for chapter 11 bankruptcy is very rigorous a lot of people work is involved so if Tashke did that how is she going to ask the tax department listen let me get her tax records because i don't trust the work that you did and if Cardi gets all of that information from the bank from the tax department do you know what she's going to have to do from there? She's going to have to hire herself a team of forensic accountants because you're saying to these people, you're saying to the bank, you're saying to the tax department, I don't have any faith in the work that you have conducted. So I'm asking you legally to hand over everything and I will hire my own team for me to um, get this information. I'll trust someone else, right? So based on the measures and the length that she's willing to go to, 
right? It shows that she doesn't want this money. It is not about the money. It is ensuring that Tasha K dies a digital debt. She wants to put Tasha K on a digital sacrifice so as to heal every pain, every trauma, every little internal thing that is triggering to her. She wants Tasha K to be digitally crucified for that. But if Cardi B should inst um, insert some wisdom, she's going to realize that even if she wins everything that she's doing, problems will always come along. And are you going to put yourself on a ledge every time challenges come along just to discipline someone and just to prove a point? Because life is like this. You win some, you lose some. You may win Tasha K and it may get you rallied up and you may get what you want out of submitting these subpoenas. But at the end of the day, I can reassure you that Cardi B is going to regret everything she's doing now. Am I saying that I want her to regret it? No, she's going to regret that she didn't think wiser and make more sound positive decisions with her money because I believe that by this time Cardi B may well have spent over four million dollars maybe eight million dollars to collect this four million dollars from Tasha K and I believe that as she gets older she is going to regret or can potentially regret not taking other routes of choosing her peace and self-perseverance over getting that money and putting Tasha K on a digital death display. But I want to hear from you guys. Let me know what are your thoughts. And while you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up, share if you care, and see you all later. Bye, guys.